What's up everybody? Carolina Hitman. And I am Anubis. Welcome to Cracker Hunters. And we just got back from seeing a movie that we're going to review today. And believe it or not, I went in thinking it was not going to be good, but I was sadly mistaken. And that movie, of course, is Black Panther. Uh, Marvel's, man, is that the 12th or 10th? I think it's that 12th or 5th. Yeah, it's, it's way high up there, there now. You got three Captain Americas, three Thors, two Avengers, two Guardians. Um, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man. Ant-Man. That was the 13th. That's the 13th. 13th one. And we may be Ooh. missing a few. I don't think so. I think that's all of them. Did we mention the Iron Man's? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Iron Man, Captain America, Thor's. No, actually, we didn't mention Iron Man. That's nine. Avengers. Two Avengers. Uh, Doctor Strange, Ant-Man. This is the 14th one, I think. And did you mention Guardians? Yes, both the Guardians. Wow, that is a lot of work they've been laying groundwork for. That is a lot, and it's been going on for 10 years now? I think 10 years now. 10 years yeah. now. Yeah. So, I, I don't know if any, anybody who's ever watched, whoever knows me, even though we're watching this video, you may not know me. But anybody who knows me, they know I consider Captain America the Winter Soldier as the top bar that they have not surpassed yet. That's, to me, the best Marvel movie that they've made to date. And... And that's Black, including all the Avengers. Yes, that's including the Avengers. Black Panther did not pass that bar. It didn't. I, I think it's a really good movie, and it's it was awesome to see all that you know in live action. But I still think Winter Soldier is the best one. But oh, okay, I think that I know y'all may not know me either, and my stance on Marvel. I'm not a big fan of the Marvel universe, and. <clears throat> I don't know, I'm not going to go into detail and explain why, but I think that my favorite Marvel movie has got to be Guardians of the Galaxy. And I don't think it passed it, but it got pretty fucking close. Well, pretty, pretty, pretty close to Guardians of the Galaxy for me. I, I think it's reached that height. Even though it's your favorite, I think it was, to me, it was as good if not better than All Guardians. All right, now the reason why I say that. The reason why I say that, because I like Guardians of the Galaxy more than I did the Winter Soldier or any Captain America movie. But the reason I say that is because they are taking literally C characters from the Marvel Universe. Like, not even qualified to be B. I, I, don't, I don't even know if they're qualified to be C characters. I think Black I, I Panther's would, a C. I would, give, B now. I would give Black Widow a, a B. I don't even think... I think Black Panther's... More, well, no, I think probably Black Widow's probably more known than Black Panther is. I, I mean... Right, right before the movie started coming out, we just asked comic book fans. I think Black, probably, no. Black, yeah, Black but Widow they would also know Black Panther. That's true. The average person wouldn't know. The average movie right. goer until the movies came out would not have a clue who that was. I think those are, those are my favorites. Guardians and Black Panther are my favorites because they are so obscure. I can agree with that. So let's delve right into the actual review. Sorry, that's our opening, I guess. <laughs> so let's delve right into the review. So we all know Black Panther made his first appearance in um, Captain, Captain America Civil, Civil War, which Piece is basically shit. Piece of shit. Anyways, but um, so basically he's being crowned the new king because his father, his father T'Chaka, he died in the explosion in the uh, spoiler alert. By the way, if you haven't seen Civil War, but he died in the explosion um, that. Bucky got set up for. So now um, Black Panther has to be crowned king now. And I love, I love the way they crown a king. Like we, uh, this is going to be a spoiler free, uh, spoiler free review, so you're not going to hear anything about it. We're not going to talk about, go into detail, but I do love how they decide their king. Like, just because he's the next in line does not automatically... And because he's part of the bloodline. Yes, but that doesn't automatically guarantee him the throne. Well, he does have to have royal blood. Yes. That, does, that is one part. And the other part is that all the other tribes... But we're not going into the detail, remember? Oh. Yeah. Okay. Because I don't want to spoil it for anybody who hasn't seen it you know, right. yet. But, um, yeah, I do love the way they decide their king. Yeah. But, so... Can, I, we, can we at least say that it was... Something like fighting. Yeah, it was a fight. It was a fighting scene, but a fight to the death. Yeah. Anyways, but I really like how they did that. And so basically, as we all know, I mean, it's, it's Black Panther, so we know he, he's he's crowned king. And then they go after Ulysses, Ulysses Claw, which is played by Andy Serkis, one of my favorite motion oh, capture actors that, uh, of all time. Yep. 
But um, so they go after him and it's basically a setup and it sets up a chain of events that introduces um, kill My, Michael B. Jordan's Kill Hound. No, Kill Monger. Kill Mountain Kill Monger. Oh, he said Kill Hounds in the movie. I'm sorry. He said Kill Hounds when uh, he was talking about something it, else. Anyways, Kill Monger. That's who it sets up. Which eventually we get to the point where we find out that he is actually has a royal he's royal royalty in that nation. He has a royal bloodline. Yeah, that's what I said. Royalty, technically. Okay, I'm just see how he dis disagrees. Or it's just not a disagreement. It's a complication of a simple solution that I just explained. Okay. Anyways, <laughs> <laughs> but they he, we find out he has royal blood, so it leads to a confrontation and blah blah blah. What I can say, I don't want to spoil anything. I'm trying to be real careful right now. But um, I, one thing I do love about the movie is the cinematography. Like they make Wakanda really look amazing. I, I think it does. Oh, uh, okay. I'll give them that. I will give them that. They did make Wakanda look very, very good. Actually, they made everything look good. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually one of the few people, I think the scenes with Black Panther, when they're doing the action and everything, I animated. think that CJ, that CJ could have been done it a little bit better. animated. Yeah, it did. And that's one, that's one of the faults I do find in the movie, that the CGI, as far as concerning Black Panther, when he's doing his action scenes, does look animated. Right. It doesn't look as real as we've seen before in a lot of the other Marvel films before that. Now, we're not talking animated like uh, Matrix fight scenes. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're not, not, we're not that bad. It's not like that, but no. it, it looks more animated like... Uh, you can tell it was CGI. Like Justice League. Animated. I, I, no, I don't even think it's that bad. I think it's right there with it. Uh, I, 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 think, I, I think it's right there with it. <clears throat> I, I, but the problem is that you can you can tell it's real it's CGI, and that's one of my that's one of the main complaints I had is that you can tell the CGI in scenes concerning the Black Panther. Yeah, that 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 was uh, one complaint that I also had. But I do think we get actually one of the better villains, and that's Killmonger, which is played by Michael G uh, Michael, Michael B. B. Jordan. Jordan. Thank you. Yes, I, I think am. we get a very good villain. Now, don't get me wrong. I know I'm probably get a lot of hate for this. I do think, and we were discussing when we left out the movie theater, I think this is one of Michael B. Jordan's weaker performances. I disagree. I 100% disagree with that statement. I, I mean, for me, it just, it, in my opinion, it, it didn't ham it up too much, but it was just a, like a little bit of ham. Like, when you, in the turkey, I mean, where you know, in Thanksgiving, where you slice off that little bit, just just falls over and you pick it in your plate. That's what it was for me. It was just a little bit of ham, just a little bit. Uh, uh, I, I think this is one of his best performances, and I'm talking over over Creed. No, man, yes. I, I'm, I strongly disagree and with that. It's not, it's not, not because of the fighting sequences or anything like that. I'm talking. He actually did good the fighting sequences, I know, though. I know he did, but what I'm talking about is just his character and the way he, uh, the way he absorbs Killmonger. I mean, he he just it, it he makes a perfect villain. I, I think it will go. I'm sorry. Go ahead. And I, honestly, I think I almost like. I mean, he 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 does it so well that you you really do see his side of everything. Right now, I will agree with that. Like that's one of the things I did appreciate about his character. Is exactly. You, you see his side where he's coming from. You can completely see as a villain. But I don't even think he's really a villain. I think he's just more of a. He's a, just misguided. Yeah. I, 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 honestly, I can go with that because. You can completely, he has legitimate reasons, and that's why I think he's one of Marvel's best villains, because you, he has a legitimate reason for everything he's doing in that movie. Yes, and it, it, he, when he's acting, when Michael B. Jordan is acting in this, you believe it. That's how, that's how much I enjoyed his performance. I believed it. I, said, I, think, I still think it's one of his weaker performances. I'm not saying it was a bad performance at all. I think it's a good performance. I just think it's one of his weaker ones. Well, well, I think what I like about it so much is he's outside of his comfort zone. Right. Because yeah, I mean, if you see, if you've ever followed Michael B. Jordan, he's in movies like Creed, and he's in uh, Chronicle. And, and Fruitville Station. Fru yes, Fruitville Station. Which that's one of his best performances. Right. Now, I think Chronicles, or Chronicle is one of his better performances. I agree. But that was that was when he was really younger. Right. And I, I think that's when he was first starting out. Right. Really, first starting out, and it's just fun to see him. And right. and to be honest, him being 
cast it as a villain, it just blew my mind. And not only that, man, he is he really put some work into it. Yeah, he's pretty uh, buff. He, he put it, put some, <laughs> yeah. and I think it's because of Creed that he did that. Right. And I think he just kept up with it, maybe gained a little bit more I think, weight. Because I think he looks bigger than when weight. he was when in Creed. But he he wasn't as defined and as cut as he was right. in Creed. Right, yeah. But that's because he was trying to stay in the weight class. But in this one, he packs on weight like uh, Tom Hardy. Ah, that's packs a good Packs on one, weight yeah. like Tom Hardy did as Bane versus uh, in Warrior. Which again, he's still pretty. He's still pretty cut up. Right. But he's not but as defined he, yeah, as when he, he was can't in Creed. Really point out the six packs. Right. But you wouldn't see that anyway because he's covered in scarification. Right. Which I. Oh, awesome. Which want awesome. to, That's another thing I love about this movie is that it actually. It actually the body takes modifications a, of the African tribe. Yes, and I that really is, appreciate that. Yes. They like you can tell because the guy who made, if I'm not mistaken, the the director who made. Um, Black Panther is actually the one who made Creed. You don't know if you knew that now. Yeah, he's I, did, the, I didn't. Know. Yeah, he's the one who made Creed. I didn't really look into it. I, honestly, I went into this movie good thinking I was going to hate it. But that's uh, sorry. Go ahead. I don't want to cut you off. No, I mean. That's, oh, but that's one of the main things I really appreciated about this movie. You can tell they did a lot of research and really did research on individual tribes in the African nations. Yeah, because they did. They they when uh, when it came down to the tribes in uh, Wakanda. Mm-hmm. They did. They separated every single one of them. Every single one of them had a different uh, scarification. They a modification, different mod- yeah. mod- Body modification. Right. Every one of them had something different about them. Right. And I really, that's one of the things I really appreciate. Yes. They, they took the time to do the little small details as far as African nations. I really appreciate yes. that. Yes. Now, one thing we haven't talked about is, is Chadwick Boseman. I really like him as Black Panther. Like, one thing, another thing I appreciated along with Chadwick, um, Chad, was it Chadwick? Yeah, Chadwick, yeah, I'm right. I'm, I'm second guessing myself. One thing I really do appreciate is the accents. Like, you can tell they actually went and studied and really worked on the accents that they did in that movie. And okay, I'm, this is what it reminds me of. It reminds me of Leonardo DiCaprio in Blood Diamond. Mm, that's actually a good point, yeah. yes. That's that's what it reminds me of. Like, they really, really try. and Angela Bassett yes. also, Cause you know, and uh, what's what's the guy's name? From, um, uh, t- uh, if you want to ask, fifteen me, million merits and uh, Sicario. Oh, I, I, I forgot yeah, his and, name. Uh, get yes. out. Yeah, but, and uh, get Dan- out. Yeah, get out. Daniel something. Yeah, I forgot his last name, but yes, he's actually. I, he's, you know, he's, he's British, he's, and he put that African accent perfect. Yes, like I said, I think he's one of the weaker characters, one of the weaker links oh, in this movie. And it's not because of his performance. No, no, no. I just it's think because of the the. The character that he plays, right? You automatically, I mean, you don't automatically dislike him, but you learn to hate him. Yeah, you do. And, and even even him, I can even see his motivations behind the reasons why he did what he did. Mm. Which, like I said, spoiler free, but I'm gonna go into detail. I can see why. I, I, I honestly, I can't see why. But he fit. He fit more into what Michael B. Jordan's character, Killmonger. He, if he fit and agree with what a lot of the mentality that he had. Because he was, uh, no, he was, he was under T'Chaka's rule. Okay. And to him, it was the same, it was more of the same when T'Challa took over. Okay, I'm going to have to throw this one out there. I think his performance in this, in Black Panther, really matched the exact same performance that he put into 15 Million Merits in the Black Mirror saga. I can understand, and yeah. Black, and because, it wasn't nothing to stand, it wasn't and, nothing to stand and, out, but. Okay, it, no, 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 it's not even that, it's. It's the actual, uh, just the performance in general of just you. You learn to you learn to not like him. Right. Oh yeah. You it's know what? That's a good point. Yeah. Same, yep. It's the exact same I see you're performance going. as he put into that one hour block of uh, Black Mirror. Yeah. yeah. Now, if he would have went at a different way, and maybe if he would have thrown that Sicario version of his right. actor in it. Then, then we, then we would have a different discussion. Right. Yeah. But actually, I, I agree with you. Like, it's kind of, uh, it's not the same character, but the same. Uh, I, honestly, I think it's the same performance. I yeah, think same performance. the same performance. Yeah. Yeah. As far as you like him, and then you learn to hate him by the end of it. Yeah. And and I don't, I don't he, think he, he kind of reminds me of Seth Rogen a little bit. You know how he acts the same yeah. and everything. Yeah. Now I'm just I'm just I'm just We're not criticizing by the way, Dan. We're not criticizing at all. You're a good actor. We like it. Yes, because you did awesome in Sakari. Yes you did. And I love that. 
But I think, and another, oh, you know, another standout performance I like Michelle. Yes, the lady who because it's hard for me to pronounce the names, and I'm not going to butcher them. But the lady who plays Michonne, she plays the general and the leader of the Adora Majahe. I think that's how you pronounce it. She played the leader of, of that elite guard, and she did a good on, job. It was honor guard. Yeah, the honor she guard. The gar, uh, she was the general of. Uh, she was the general of Wakanda. Right, but uh, that's but she. No, I don't know. If she's the general of the entire nation. No, but she, she was. She was okay because I know she was the leader of the Dora Majahe. I, I think that's how you pronounce that's, it. These are really hard names to. Pronounce. Yes, yeah, I, these I, are very hard names. Yes, to they are. And, uh, we're but sorry. I, she did a good job in this movie, and, and I, I think her action sequences. Yes, they were all. They were awesome. Fucking amazing. Now, one thing I will say, I do like the action sequences. They were believable. Fun. They, yes. They're very very fun. Yes, and and. They were very creative. I liked the way they did their though, because they you know they used spears and oh, stuff. Oh, and I loved the uh, I, I I loved that they threw this in because uh, in the, uh, the the battle between the king uh, who uh, deciding the king. Yes. They threw the capoeira in on. Oh, it. you saw yeah, that? Yes. I, did I didn't know if you noticed that. that. Yes. Did. Yes. They threw. It the is a little capoeira in there. Yep. And it, it's so fun how they mix it all up. Yes. I mean, there's so many different martial arts inside of this movie. And it makes it so fun to watch. It's uh, it, and it and it doesn't it doesn't destroy the plot neither. No, at all. And the accent it makes the action scenes more believable too. And Michael B. Jordan's character, and, and his character uh, Killmonger is a Navy SEAL, and they threw that in. They threw the martial arts that they use as a Navy SEAL into that. Really? Actually, yeah. Because I don't know the specific well, they, they, martial they arts they're uh, they're handy with a blade. Okay. Yeah, because he was flip. Yeah, you're oh, right. He actually, was yeah. Really good with that. I, yeah, you actually, you're actually, you're actually correct. Yeah, I really, I really dig um, Andy Serkis's performance too. Oh. Like, that dude was crazy in this movie, man. <laughs> <laughs> this dude was insane. I, I, I can't, I cannot think of a movie I don't like him in. I, I, I agree. Even in CGI, even real. I mean, he, I like him in this movie. You, he, when, he's just a good actor. He is, and, and maybe, he plays maybe, insane really well. Maybe he might get a goddamn award for this. <laughs> uh, they need to give him an award for something, damn it. Something. He deserves something he, he by deserves, now. He deserves yeah. something. And this, I just, I just loved, uh, I loved how crazy he was and, and him singing. Right. I, I even like the twist involving Forrest Whitaker too. Oh yeah. Yeah, except we're going to, we're doing spoiler free guys. So I just, I'm trying to be as vague and still review this as, as good as possible we are. But I do like Forrest Whitaker's Forrest performance. Whitaker. He's actually good in this movie too. Forrest Whitaker is it's hard for him to act bad. True. And I honestly think this this movie is one of the uh, one of the original African American superhero films. Now there has been some before. Yes, yeah, like Blade. That's Blade. The, yes. Stop Blade. saying this is the first one because yes. it's not. Yeah, Blade. Blade, Blade is the is originator. One of them. We're not God talking about it. Blank Man and and Medium. We're not talking yeah, about. We're yeah, talking about we're not, legitimate. We're not talking, yeah, legitimate Marvel yes, comic book Exactly. Movies. Blade is the first one, and I'm tired of people saying this is the first one because I've seen people say, oh, oh, this is the first. No, it's not. It's it, Blade, Blade was the first one, and yeah. he's the one, for me, he is actually the one who set the groundwork for all this to be possible, to be honest uh, with you. I disagree. I, I, I'm I, telling you, he, uh, he did for me. Name, a, name of something else that Marvel did that was worthy to really set the groundwork for what we're saying right now. What we're saying right now. What we're seeing right now. Oh no no no! I I thought you were going with the. Uh, I thought you were. I thought you were going a whole different. Oh no no no! I, I, I thought you were going a whole different way with this. I think for me, Blade showed them that you can actually do a an adult, um, an adult comic book movie, and it still be popular and still be successful. Right. And for me, if it was not for Blade doing what he did, you know, uh, Wesley Snipes. None of this right now will be possible. I think he's the one who laid the groundwork for what we're seeing right now, in my opinion. I would, uh, honestly, I think I agree with you. Yeah, because I can't think of any other one that before okay, Blade... Okay, we, we're, taking away, we're, we're taking away Blade 2 and Blade 3. Or, mm. eh, I like Blade 2, but Blade 3 was horrible. Let's just go and get Blade the 2 had Norman Reedus in it. Yeah, yeah, but I'm saying, but... I say I just think that people need to stop giving. Black, I, I love Black Panther. I love the movie, but I think they need to give credit to Blade and Wesley Snipes for laying the groundwork for what right. we're doing right now. Yes, that's that's just me. So stop getting it wrong, guys. Blade was first. Yes, but um, that was that is true. The, one of the performances that stood out to me in this movie was Chadwick Boseman. 
Like he, man, the emotions he portrayed in this movie, you know, talking to his father and stuff like that, which anybody who knows Black Panther, which isn't really a spoiler, it's a minor thing, but anybody who knows Black Panther, basically Black Panther is a mantle. It's passed on from each king down and basically- And it's only the one. It's only the yes. one gets, gets that power. Right, and when they pass away, they can actually go and get counsel from- The, the past the, Black Panther. Yes, in, in spiritual form. And I like how they did that. It's, it's almost like uh, going and talking to the Jedi. Yes, almost, actually, that's a good point. It almost is like that. And I like, man, the the. But the, it's not. It's not a rip off. No, it's not. It's not. We and if you when you watch the movie, you'll see why it's right. not. And I like how you know the conversation he had with his dad, especially when he found out the thing he found out. Yeah. It's it's, I, man. Right. Chadwick Boseman is a is a really good actor. He can portray emotions, I mean, uh, awesomely. Like you can tell. When, when he was just gut-wrenched inside, he made you feel that way, you know, just watching him on screen. See, I really do appreciate see, that, the too. See, way, the way you feel about that is the way I feel about Michael B. Jordan's performance. Really? That, okay. That, okay, that's, that's how I feel gotcha. with, with his performance, o other than uh, Chadwick. Okay. Okay, see, now, now, that's not saying that he did a bad job. That's not saying he did a, a bad job. What it is is just I, just I think that Michael's was better. I, I disagree, but hey, we're all entitled to right. our opinions. Now, another standout in this movie is actually Black Panther's sister. I cannot remember her name. Forgive me. That's another standout that's in this a, movie. That's a hard name to remember. Yeah. Right? And, and I think she was another standout, man. She fit perfectly with... And she was funny. Yes, yeah, she was. Like, she was legitimately I, funny. I think she was the comedic relief in this movie. And the thing is, like, the comedic, the comedic relief wasn't forced. It was it, natural. It right. flowed well, which is one of the problems. And it was needed. Yes. Like, it, was, it was very needed. For, for the kind of story they were trying to yes. tell. Yeah, it kind you of alleviates some of the drama. Right. And... I, and one of the main problems I've had with past Marvel movies is that the comedy sometimes felt forced. They were just trying to throw too many jokes mm -hmm. out there and it felt kind of forced. I didn't get that feeling with Black Panther. Uh, I've, I got that with one part. Only uh, one part. Okay, so we, we, okay, we're doing spoiler free so we won't right. go into that. Now, one issue... It, it, uh, I'll just throw it out there. It was with the gorilla guy. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, that, I agree with you. That felt a little yeah. forced. I agree. Now, one thing I do feel that this is, I guess this is a, not it's not really a nitpick, this is a legitimate concern. I think Marvel needs to do a better job in its third act because the formula they have, every movie resolves in the third act into a big, huge battle of bodies. Like it's just a big, huge battle. It's really no like direction and it's just a big war. And I think that's one of the main issues I've had with every really every Marvel movie I've had is that the third act tends to sag a little bit, and it, it Black Panther was not immune to that. I think it sagged a little bit in the third act, and the action, the the scene that I'm talking about, you know which one I'm talking about. It's yeah. just it's it falls into the Marvel trope in, in its third act. That's the only that's one of the major complaints I had about the movie. Really, the only one is that it, it's the third act kind of fell flat for me. Well, I'm just trying to think of. Uh third acts and all the other 15 million movies right it's just really a big battle in every single one not all of them yeah you know, no, look what do you think not even the thor the dark not, world not, big not, battle not, i'm not saying with a group of people but the 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 battle at the end like it's it, I, I think that's uh i think that's a, a formula that they've been they've been using and i think that that's it's a successful formula and they are going with it because that's just what people like. Yeah, but I think sometimes, you know, you want to take a chance with something. And I, don't get me wrong, Black Panther as a whole is a chance in itself. I, I just think yeah. I'm, I'm just I just think that they need to come up with a better closing act all for right. their movies. That's all. All right, I, I hate I hate Captain America Civil War. I hate that movie. Almost more than any other movie I've ever seen except for Pearl Harbor. But um, I hate that movie, but they did one thing right, and they introduced the Black Panther. Right. That's, they did more that, than one that thing was, right. That was my favorite part of the Captain America Civil War, and I think that they were feeding off of it. And they were. You could tell. Yeah, and they, they were. They were. And, 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 and it they worked. They even showed little pictures of uh, David Brawl's character. Right. Uh, in the background, you know, the one who uh, actually... Uh, killed uh, killed Black Panther's dad. Right. 
which um, I think the ending credits is is not really worth it. I'm, I'm mm. be honest, with you, it's it's not. Yeah, but it doesn't really. Oh, uh, the first segment. The first segment. I don't even think the second one really either. I don't the, think the, the first part is. Yeah. The first part is for me. For I mean, me, it is because. It did remind me, it, like, I, I know I said it before, but I'm going back to Blood Diamond. I'm going back to Blood Diamond. It reminded me of when uh, Dejamin Hassan's character uh, spoke to the, the UN. That's okay. what it reminded me of. Yeah, and okay. That's what I loved about it. Right. I, what, what, what I meant by, what, what, I didn't say it, was a, it wasn't good. What I meant was it's, it's not really... It doesn't really tie into the next movie. And, I, it, and, that, oh, and, that, oh, and that's okay. what I meant. Yeah, yeah, okay. it does, yeah. I didn't say it wasn't a good end scene. Like, oh. I agree that first, this speech is a really yes. good closing credits. But I just think it didn't fit in to what was happening in the next movie. Uh, well, honestly, actually, it, it, it's, it it's really, really minor. It really, really minor. It really does, though. It, it really does. But we're not going to say what it is. We'll let you decide. Yeah, you, I think it does. I think it really does. Okay. But I think we've talked about this enough. I think we've brought all our, our points home. Now, I'm going to ask you, you know our rating system? So what if you were to give it a rating, what would you give it? I would give it uh, an, an A. Uh, um, full price? Oh, uh, full price. Big mm. ass motherfucking popcorn. Get yourself two drinks. <laughs> and don't take a piss in the middle of it. Right. I'll give it a full price, too. I think it was worth the admission. I think it is one of Marvel's better movies overall. I think the story's really right. good. It's my number two. I still think, for me, again, I, I, don't, I wouldn't even say it's number two for me. My, my no, it's my number two. Uh, it's, only, only for one reason, because I love obscurity. Fair enough. I, it's top five, I think. Easily top five okay. of all the Marvel movies. I still think, for me... Winter Soldier is the bar that Marvel has not been able to pass since that movie's come out. The Black Panther was an excellent movie. I really liked it, but it still has not passed that bar. That's that's the bar for me. And nothing's come out yet. Nothing Marvel's put out yet has surpassed that bar. But again, it's not down in Black Panther. It was an excellent movie. Top five of the Marvel movies that's come out so far. Yeah. So I give it a full price. But guys, we thank you for joining us for our, our Black Panther review. We hope you enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Please add some comments. Yes. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Please let us know what you think about the movie. So, yeah, leave some comments. Let us know what you thought. But um, Carolina Hitman. I am Anubis. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time. Cracker Hunters, signing out.